Yerp. What's good, y'all? Black sheep in the house. What to do, what to do. Out here in nature, just chilling. Look, got all the geese out here. They just chilling. Feels peaceful as hell out here. No drama. Blocking out all the noise and shit. This is kind of where I need to be right now, man, because I have not been out in nature a lot lately. So this is my spot now, man. When I'm feeling some type of way, I got to come here, let go, whatever, let go, whatever I'm feeling, man, whatever's bottled up inside of me, I need to let that shit go. Because that's how the, the only way I can let that shit go is if I come out here, bro, and just be one with nature, you know? Like, it don't, it don't get better than that, bro. It really don't. But the main reason why I want to come out here, or I want to talk to y'all, holla, holla at y'all real quick. Listen, I don't think I've been really real with y'all lately. I don't think I've been really authentic with y'all when it comes to who I am as a person. But I'm not gonna make this video very long but I'm gonna try to cram everything into one little video. But yeah, man, the truth of the matter is, like, I do not belong here, bro. Straight up. I'm gonna be real. I don't belong here. When I and Now, when I say I don't belong here, I'm talking about my town. I'm talking about the city, the state, just my environment where I'm at right now, I, I don't belong. And I've always, I've always known this, but it doesn't take a spiritual guru or it doesn't take you to be woke to really understand that you don't fit in where you don't fit in. It doesn't take a, spir uh, a spiritual guru to know, yeah, man, I don't belong here. Since the day I was in school, my days in school, I just had a hard time fitting in with just regular kids. Like, out of all the group of friends I've had in my life, I never felt like I was validated by them. I, I felt like I was never one of them, you know? Because every time I was around these friends, I was around a group of friends, it's funny because I felt even more alone than I did than I did by myself. You know how you feel alone when when you're with a group of friends, and it's like, man, I, I I just don't I just don't click with these people. You know, like I don't. There's no connection. There's no uh, relatability with these people. Like, why am I hanging out with these people? You know, I don't relate to them at all. You ever get that feeling when you, when you hang out with certain types of people and it's like you feel even more alone around them than you do by yourself? And that's been me so many times because I have learned that I'm a lot lonelier with other people than I am by myself because I was meant to stand out. I was meant to be alone the way I look at it, the way the, the way my life has shaped up to be for the last 10 to 15 years i mean bro i'm just meant to be a loner but i don't really i'm not really ashamed of it though you know because like i said being lonely is the key to happiness it takes time to get to that point trust me it takes a lot of time to to realize that all you have in this world is yourself all you have in this world is you God did not bring you up to this world to be doing everybody favors, to be helping people who don't really appreciate your help to, be, to begin with, to be hanging out with these fake ass friends who are not about that change. They're not about that real life growth. They're not coming up with you. The type of, I'm talking about the type of friends, bro, that will that will criticize you when you making a change with your life, when you're finally 
getting your life on the right track. They want to criticize you. They want to look at you and, and treat you like you're the bad guy all of a sudden. Because you know what that is? That's insecurity. That's them thinking, well, he thinks he's better than us now because he's trying to get his life on track and he's not doing what the fuck we're doing. He ain't, here, he ain't out here smoking weed with us. He's not out here drinking with us. He's not out here partying with us. Oh, look at him. He's on a high another level than, than we are. You're damn right I'm on a higher level. Because I don't need alcohol, drugs, I don't need weed to fucking fit in with y'all. I don't need to do the things that would make an ordinary person fit in with the rest of the crowd. That's not who I am. Never been that way, never will. If y'all really think that you need to drink, you need to smoke, you need to have sex with, have sex with all these these females go out the clubbing partying wilding out bugging out and just to fit in with these friends man like you got it all wrong you got it all twisted you got life backwards you got your own life backwards if you think you need somebody's validation to if, for them to accept for who you really are fuck their validation fuck their acceptance I said fuck it a long time ago because all I got in this world is myself. I know I don't have any friends in my life that are really fucking with me like that, bro. None of them are. That's why I say I don't belong here because my whole life I felt like I was just an outsider. But I no longer feel that way no more, no more because that's who I am. I'm an outsider. I'm a loner. You know, I'm a black sheep. You know, it took time for me to uh, to finally come to that, realiz that realization and to accept it that I'm just not <laughs> I'm just not people's uh, favorite person to be around all the time. You know, like people are going to fuck with you for who you really are, not what you have. And that's been kind of the story of my friendships, man, because people had only fuck with me because. I had things, I had materialistic things that they probably didn't have at home, but they want to, you know, spend some time with me and play my Xbox or play my PlayStation just for that reason, because they only fuck with me because what I had, not what I, not who I was, not who I really am as me, you know, you got to watch out when it comes to these fake friends, man, because they only going to be your friend when it benefits them. You understand me? They only gonna be your friend when it benefits them. They ain't really rocking with you because you're super cool, because you're a badass. Nah, they don't care about your, your personality attributes. They don't care about the quality of person that you are. They don't care. They wanna use you for money. They wanna use you for other things. They want to use you to get ahead in their, and get ahead with their life, you know? And once they can no longer suck the, the flavor out of you no more, they're going to throw you out, bro. They're going to chew you up and spit you, like, like, spit you out like you some piece of gum. You know how a gum has flavor? You chew on that son of a bitch, and then once the gum got no more flavor, they throw the gum out. They throw it in the garbage. Or... They just spit it on the damn ground and just leave it. That's what I've been my whole life. I've been a chewed up piece of gum to most of these friends. Not saying every, not not saying everybody, but I'm saying the majority who only valued who only valued me for what I had, not for who I was. Man, I was at work today. I'm about to be on here for a minute. I was at work today, and then we had this meeting, this pre-shift meeting type of bullshit, right, where all the workers gather together. They just talk a bunch of nonsense. I don't really care. I just kind of tune them out. But one of the things my manager said was that, man, we got to get to start knowing knowing each other a little bit more around here. Like, we're like family and stuff. Like, we're, you know, we don't even know each other's names at, at you know, 
it gets to that point where we don't even know each other's names. That's kind of what he said. And I'm thinking to myself, listen, we're not no family, okay? Y'all are not my family, okay? I'm not even I'm not even close with my own family. The only person I'm close with when it comes to my family is the woman who brought me into this world. Okay? That's that's the only person in my family that's that I'm actually close to is my mom. That's it. My other family, they gone up and done their own thing or, you know, they in jail, whatever the fuck. They doing their own thing. Um, it's none of my damn business, you know, but I just hate when I go to work and I feel like, man, y'all trying to, you know, manipulate me into thinking that we family and stuff. But like, what happens when I die? You know, what happens when I pass away and shit? Are y'all going to be at my funeral? Are y'all going to be there when I'm dead? Y'all going to uh, be there at my eulogy or some shit? Like, what's happening, man? Y'all not my family. I, you know how you know how you go to work and your manager likes to say, man, we're all family here. We're all, we're all good people here and shit. But, man, I don't know y'all life. The truth is you don't know these people in real life that you're working with. Straight up. You got to question everybody's intentions. You can't go off and just make yourself available to people and, you know, chase after people and, you know, expect them to, to be there for you because, oh, well, your manager said, well, we're family and shit, so we got to be there for each other. That's not the case. That is not the case. It all comes back to you. It all comes back to here, who you are, who, who you truly are inside. Because God made you who the way that you're supposed to be. He made you to follow your own path, to follow your own purpose, to follow your own calling, to not be like everybody else, to not follow, to not fit in with the crowd. I'll tell you why the main reason why I don't belong. Because I was always meant to stand out as an individual, as someone that depends only on myself. That's it. I was made to se I was made to be separated from the pack. I was made to be separated from the pack. Every time somebody was in the group, I'd be away from them. At lunch, at, back in, back in my days in school, at lunch, I'd be sitting by myself. I had a hard time making friends. I had a hard time communicating with people, but I had a hard time more than anything being accepted by these fake friends. So I'm telling y'all to stop looking for validation from your circle. You know? At the end of the day, bro, who gives a fuck about friendships? I don't care. I never valued friendships because nobody in my life gave me a reason to value friendships. Nobody came into my life and told me, hey, I got your back, bro. I'm here for you. You're my A1. I never had that connection with nobody in my life, you know? And that's why I'm so independent. And that's why I'm so, I have this mindset that I have. I just don't depend on nobody. I can't, I can't bring myself to depend on anybody. That's the thing. I can't, I can't, it's impossible for me to actually go out of my way and to make friends with complete strangers, you know what I'm saying? But I look, I really look, at it for what it really is, man. I look at the environment and I just say to myself, I don't need to be here no more. I need to be somewhere else. I need to be venturing out in different environments and uh, different areas in my life. And just, man, I, I just need to experience the world for what it really is, man. That's what I really want to do in 2020, this whole decade is to really get out in the, in the world and see and see more of it, man. See what it has to offer and to just experience, to explore, to, you know, to live out this journey to the fullest, bro. Because I only got one fucking life. I do. And I don't, I don't have it. I don't have time to waste it on trying to find validation and to be accepted by other people. 
you know, waiting for someone to give me give me the green light that, oh, you're cool with me. Okay, I, I accept for who you are. No, nah, I'm not waiting for that shit, man. And not, if you're watching this video, neither should you. Don't wait for anybody to accept you. God accepts you. The creator accepts you the most high. Validates you every single day when you wake up. If you are alone, if you're going through what I've gone through my whole life, being alone, nine times out of ten, you are meant to be alone. Because God, God had put you in that position for a reason. He made you to stand out. He made you to be an individual. He made you to be unique, creative, somebody out of the, you know, not the ordinary. You have originality within yourself. I hope you know that you have originality within yourself. Because when we're around so many people, we get lost in the shuffle of their own highlights. You always have a bunch of friends who have a bunch of highlights, who get more attention than you do, who have uh, more followers and more connections and shit. But you get lost within their own highlights, if that makes sense. You get lost in the shuffle. That's what I'm trying to say. That's why you got to be by yourself. That's why you have to explore on your own. Get in tune with your higher self. You know what I mean? So I just want to share that with y'all, man. Straight up, I don't belong here, and I never will. I'm not, I'm not even going to try it anymore, bro. I'm not. I just see what my life has been the past 20 years, even in family, bro. I feel like I'm not even part of my own family at the times, like... Straight up, bro. I'm the only black. I'm only. I'm the only black person in my family that's light skin. You know, I have a white mom. My brother's white. My dad is black, but I don't see my dad no more. He passed away years ago. You know, I just felt like the black sheep of my family, and you know, I learned to just accept it and just learn to take it for what it is and deal with the hand of cards that I was dealt with, man. Because you can only make the best out of your own situations your own circumstances you got to make the best out of your own your own shit sometimes you know you got to see the best out of every situation because that's where real abundance that's where real blessings come to you when you accept what's really real in your life and you accept it for what it really is and not try to change it not try to change the narrative but change your own narrative you know what people thought about you do what you can to be the best you you know Fuck the, fuck the noise, fuck the opinions, fuck the, the critiques of other people. They don't matter. Because when you're alone, bro, ain't nobody can judge you. You don't, you don't have no room for people to judge you when, you about, when you're by yourself. People are not going to be hitting you up every day. People are not going to be uh, knocking at your door, wanting to hang out, wanting to go out to the club and shit. You have more time to work on you, more time to chase your goals in life. And shit, man. Look at these geese, bro. I attract animals, bro. I fucking love geese, bro. They just they they, they just like me. They own the, they in their own world. They just chilling, bro. I love it. But anyway, man, I hope y'all doing well. I hope y'all have a blessed week. Um, I just want to share that, you know personal you know my personal story with y'all you know i don't belong here period and if y'all feel the same way give let me uh let me let me know what y'all uh let me know let me uh, let me know what y'all think in the comment section man uh you know like subscribe and share this video uh subscribe if you're new and i'll catch you on the next video man black sheep is out peace